Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently a key committee of US Senate has sought to bolster the defense partnership with India and to take it to a new level through greater cooperation in intelligence collection, drones, fourth and fifth generation aircraft. The moves come a week after the House of Representatives passed a legislative amendment as a part of National Defense Authorization Act NDAA that waived off CATSA sanction for India. Each year, NDAA authorizes funding levels and provides authorities for US military and other critical defense priorities, ensuring USA troops have the training, equipment and resources they need to carry out their missions. The NDAA supports a total of $857.46 billion in Fiscal Year 2023 funding for USA National Defense. Under the strengthening US posture in Indo-Pacific region, the legislation states the need of engagement with Ministry of Defense of India to expand cooperation on emerging technology, readiness and logistics. Within 90 days of enactment of this act, the Secretary of Defense of US will have to direct appropriate personnel within Department of Defense to seek engagement with their counterparts within Ministry of Defense of India for the purpose of expanding cooperation on emerging technologies, readiness and logistics. The areas highlighted in the legislation for the cooperation includes intelligence collection capabilities, unmanned aerial vehicles, fourth and fifth generation aircraft, depot level maintenance, joint research and development, 5G and open radio access network technologies, cyber, cold weather capabilities and other matter the Secretary considers relevant. Over the year, United States of America has assisted Israel to become one of the most powerful militaries in the Middle East. Israel has purchased 50 F-35 combat aircraft and 8 Boeing KC-46A aircraft for mid-air refueling of F-35 with the help of and support of US. The deadly combo enables Israel to launch long-distance attacks and bring Iranian nuclear sites within the reach. It seems USA wants India to be the Israel of Asia to counter the growing economic and military capability of China. We already know that India is negotiating with US on MQ-9 Reaper drones and recent NDAA 2023 of USA will enable US to even sell F-35 fighter jets to India which is considered as one of the best fighter jet at present. However, since F-22 Raptors export is banned by US federal law, it still cannot be offered to any country. F-35 is one of the two true stealth fighter jet in operation and other being F-22 Raptor. It is a signing example of one of the greatest engineering feasts of post-Cold War generation. The fighter jet is almost invisible to enemy due to its stealth features, design and use of radar absorbing and deflecting materials. It is equipped with one of the best jamming technologies which is capable of suppressing the air and land-based radars of adversaries. Even if enemy radar detects something in the distance, they won't be able to track the fighter jet. It is one of the most survivable and versatile aircraft built. It can clear the skies of opposing fighter jets and can perform precise ground attack using smart bombs and missiles. The stealth feature of the fighter jet provides it capability to perform surveillance and reconnaissance missions in enemy's airspace without getting detected in enemy's radar. While F-35 is one of the best fighter jets at present, its operation will be challenging for Indian Air Force. The F-35 has decent endurance but without a mid-air refueler, it cannot prove to be a vital asset. The F-35 is not compatible with any refuelers currently in operation with Indian Air Force. Further, F-35 cannot interface with India's Integrated Air Command and Control System IACCS, consisting of ground and airborne radars with customized data links. Indian Air Force has to deal with major adversity like China at high altitudes. As per reports, the F-35 can only tolerate supersonic speeds at high altitudes for short bursts before it sustains lasting structural damage. This leads to loss of stealth capabilities as during high speeds, the jet's coating which makes it invisible to radar is known to bubble. At present, 
none of Indian Air Force weapons could be compatible with F-35 except for MBDS missiles procured for Rafale, which means India might need to invest heavily on American air-to-air, ground and sea munitions. India will have also no control over upgrade and customization of fighter jet weapons and integration of new weapons upgrading 3 database for electronic warfare systems to jam. The F-35 fighter jets need to update its front and foe system, which requires complete replacement along with all radio communication equipment. India will have to share most sensitive signals intelligence with US, which will not be acceptable for our armed forces. Every hour, the flight cost of F-35 varies from 31 to 36 thousand US dollar. Whereas Rafale costs around 19 to 21,000 US dollar and F-18 13 to 20,000 US dollar. Clearly, F-35 tops the list in terms of operational cost. However, this is not the only challenge. Its availability has also been a issue. In 2019, US Government Accountability Office reported that F-35 program received significant cost schedule availability and performance problems. It was unable to fly 30% of time because of shortage and mismatch of parts. They are mission capable 52% of time against the target of 75%. Another major challenge with F-35s is the need of frequent servicing of F-35 engines. The problem in engine is related to a surface coating on turbine blades that overheats causing the blades to crack. This is the reason engine needs to be serviced even before the scheduled maintenance period resulting in more F-35s being grounded for servicing. The F-35's helmet-mounted display emits a bright glow in low-light situation which obscures the pilot vision. One Air Force pilot on an air-to-air -air refueling mission last year lost sight of the tanker as he drew closer to it, causing a near crash. So even though F-35 is such an incredible integrated platform, however, considering the level of customization required for Indian Air Force, it's going to be challenging for India as these customization will also shoot up the price as seen in the case of Rafale. India is already running its fifth generation stealth fighter jet program called AMCA where it would expect help from US to expedite the program. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.